If you've been paying attention at all over the last month and a half, you've heard us talking about the Stay the Fuck Home live streams that we've been doing on Saturday nights. It's just a way of offering up a little something extra to the listeners that are stuck hunkered down in quarantine and foregoing their normal, far more interesting plans. And if you watched the most recent one of those, you probably already know what I'm going to talk about. But for those of you who didn't, let me set it up. So the structure of these things have largely been AMAs with a few online games thrown in where the audience can vote for the winner. But there's only so many AMAs you can do before people start to run out of A to AM about. So in a preemptive effort to keep this from getting stale, we've been bringing in different guests for each one. So we're trying to figure out who to bring in for this past weekend. We thought, hey, you know what? It's Mother's Day on Sunday. We have mothers. So we all invited our moms on. And between the three of us, only Heath's mom is an atheist. Eli's mom is an observant Jew, and my mom is one of those non-denominational theologyless Christians that just sort of vaguely believes in, you know, God and Jesus and a bunch of happy words. And inevitably, this comes up. One of the questions we got from a listener was what our moms thought about our atheism and our activism. So we start off with Eli's mom explaining that she isn't mad about his atheism. She's just disappointed. And then it's my mom's turn. And since I would not dream of depriving you of a full-on Heath laugh, I'm just going to play you the audio of my mom's answer. All right, so mom, you're you're a churchgoer. Uh, Dad's a churchgoer. How do you feel about my atheist activism? I think, and this is just me, that you're not <laughs> really an atheist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you are an anti-church person. <laughs> Who doesn't believe that a God exists. And, yeah, right. Well, see, you tell. know that. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know that there's not a hippo outside in the backyard either. But Mama. there could be. I, there, you're right. There. Oh, could have it is, it is far more likely than there being a God. <laughs> no, honey, no, honey, no, honey. That's right. In my mom's mind, I'm not an atheist. <laughs> Apparently because I can't prove there is no God. I can prove he's logically incoherent, mind you. I can prove that the Christian God doesn't exist. I can do the same for the Jewish one or the Muslim one or the Hindu one. I just can't prove that no possible conception of a God exists could exist. And therefore, I'm not a real atheist. And look, there are certain things that we just kind of have to accept about our moms and, and all things considered. My mom's inability to admit that I'm an atheist is pretty mild compared to what a lot of moms put their kids through. So I'm not bringing it up to complain and I'm not bringing it up to pick on my mom. And I'm not even bringing it up so that I can nudge you in the ribs a little bit while my mom's not looking and saying, can you believe this shit here? No. The reason I bring it up is because I know a lot of you deal with the same thing. A lot of you have mothers that refuse to accept that you don't believe in the family deity, no matter how many times you tell them or how fervently you do so. And I want to make it super clear to you that it isn't you. It's not that you haven't explained yourself well enough. It's not that you haven't been forthright enough. It's not that you have to be more convincing. Consider my situation. I'm an atheist for a living. Okay, I produce multiple podcasts about atheism every week, and I have for years. There are literally hundreds of hours of archived content available online where I detail the extent to which I am an atheist. I just finished writing my third fucking book about atheism. I've done live performances at the largest atheist conferences in the U.S., the U.K., and Australia. I own atheist t-shirts. I have atheist shit hanging on my walls. I have atheist music. My fucking nickname is the scathing atheist if there was a periodic table of atheism i would probably be on the motherfucker somewhere as eli says he believes in zero gods and i somehow believe in fewer he said less but i fixed it the point is i could not possibly be more clear and open about my lack of religion than i am and still when an atheist asked my mother what she thinks of my atheist activism that i do for a living her answer is yeah i'm not buying it <laughs> and though you can't tell from the clip that I just played you, as Heath is cracking up and Eli's clapping with joy and Heath's mom is giggling wildly, Eli's mom is just nodding along knowingly, agreeing with every delusional argument my mom is tossing out. So, you know, it's not a her thing. It's not a me thing. It's not a you thing. It's a mom thing. And there is 
fuck all you can do about it. So, hey, if you missed it live, it's still there. It's preserved forever on YouTube. The bit with my mom starts at around 56 minutes, 30 seconds. Uh, it's a two-hour feed altogether. Honestly, you should watch the whole thing because from what I hear, it was wholesome despite the fact that I smoked weed at my mom and compared her God to an imaginary yard hippo, everybody told me it was wholesome. And I kind of doubt that anyone's ever going to use that adjective to describe something we produce again.